For numbers five, six, and seven, I would like you all to have your calculator handy following along with your graphing calculator as I do this. So in each of these, we're going to use the table method to find the zeros of each of these functions. So um, what we're going to do for all of these is you're going to take the function, you're going to enter it into Y1, into your calculator, right? And then you'll press, if you've forgotten this, you press second graph, and that will bring up the table. So what you're looking for in each of these is where is the Y value equal to zero? So uh, in number five, we enter 2X squared minus 6X minus 36. We bring up the table and we find our zeros are negative three and six, right? We're just trying to find where are the two X values where Y is zero, okay? Um, we're going to do the same thing with number six. So again, as you're going through this, you should pause it, all right, and then you can check your answers uh, as you go along. With so number six, we should find our zeros are negative three and positive five, all right, and then the last one, you will find your zeros are negative four and positive four. So again, uh, after this, make sure you pause, go ahead, check your work, see if you can find the zeros on the table. Good job.